Hey everyone, this is Hirohigo. Sorry it's been a while since my last update, but school just started last week, so I haven't had as much time to dedicate to Shogi. I'll try to get videos uploaded more frequently from now on. On the plus side though, as you can probably tell, I got a new microphone, so my voice will come in much clearer with less noise from now on. Anyway, like my last video, I am also going to include two proverbs in this video because they're pretty easy to explain and they're somewhat related to each other. The first proverb is push the pawns in the odd numbered files. Pushing the odd file pawns is a very good idea in many strategies because it opens the initial diagonal of your bishop all throughout your camp. So as you can see here, the bishop is very mobile throughout your own camp. The only disadvantage to this is your opponent's bishop also shares that diagonal. On the contrary, pushing pawns in the even files is a bad idea because it simply blocks your bishop's diagonals and you might simply be offering up one of your pawns for free. The next proverb is, in the opening, the bishop is more powerful than the rook. This is very easy to understand. After all, it only takes one move, pawn 7f, in order to activate your bishop along the mid ranks. However, it takes a minimum of three moves in order to activate your rook, and even when it is activated, if you try to go for a quick attack against your opponent's camp, it'll be easily blocked by one of your opponent's generals, who can cover a wide area. However, with a bishop, it can break into your opponent's camp if only one pawn is pushed. And now I'm going to demonstrate a situation in which these proverbs are both kept in mind by black. See already with pawn 7f, the bishop is exerting a large influence over the board. Now here white has closed his bishop's diagonal because he plans on playing ranging rook. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, in ranging rook, white doesn't want a bishop trade um, for reasons that I'm not going to explain here. If you want more information on it, I'll link to Hidechi's video about this situation. And now the kings are going for castling. As you can see, most of Black's pieces are, uh, or his pawns are pushed into odd, uh, I'm sorry, odd files. And now the demonstration is pretty much complete. This strategy is called left silver to 5G strategy, and it is used when Black wants to make a rapid attack on White's camp. As you can see, Black is keeping both proverbs in mind. The odd file pawns have been pushed, and the bishop has a pretty good sense of mo uh, mobility and can attack from a few different directions, like these, for example. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.